Hi everyone, it's time for our February Book of the Month. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home. Welcome to probably the last video that I'm going to try to squeeze in for Mardi Gras week. So it'll be time to put my beads away. Put my, I got two shawls that kind of look the same, but these two of these shawls away. I've got this one headband, one that I, I wore already and I have no idea what I did with it. So I might be in with my hat. Uh, find that one. I've got to repair this little mask before I go put it back in my things. This is glue is coming undone. So we want to fix this one. And then I don't know what to do with this one. This one I really like, but it really smushes my face. It's got this band right here. So I'm going to have to think of something different if I want to wear this again, because this one is just really uncomfortable to wear, but it is so pretty. So anyway, yeah so thanks so much for joining me you probably that was a little probably too much information but not as much as it could have been trust me so anyway i want to thank you guys again for stopping in it means so much to me that you guys are able to spend a few minutes out of your day with me it means more to me than i can ever let you know so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet I hope you would take a second just hit that little bell over there i would love to have you subscribe to my channel i would love to see you again i love getting to know everyone in the comments below and it's just so much fun getting to be such a part of this youtube community it's been a lot of fun for me and yeah i appreciate you guys so much so anyway today we are doing a february book of the month club so anyway i am really enjoying this subscription it took me i used to be such an avid reader and it took me a while to be able to get back into just reading for myself again for for various reasons but i am so glad that i did um, I ended up taking a break in October. It just got to be too much with trying to do, look for different costumes to do a video in costume, every video that I did in October. And then it was time for Vlogmas and the countdown. And yeah, so it's been so much fun, but I made a promise to myself to do my best to shut the electronics off, shut the TV off. If I've got that on in the background and, um, yeah, by 11.30 at night, I'm doing my best to stick to that. Sometimes it goes a little beyond that, but just to stop everything and pick up a book and read a couple of chapters. I'm trying to at least get in an hour a night. Sometimes it goes a little bit over when I'm into a good part. Sometimes not so much because I start falling asleep as soon as I'm like, okay, it's really time to unwind now, but I'm having so much fun doing it. And I'm so glad that I watched a few channels like Kristen Moments of Sanctuary, and now she's entered the book for her book channel. And it just really got me excited, kept me excited. And I could not wait to get back into that world of reading again. So I think I'm getting there again. But anyway, for Book of the Month Club, Last month, I think we had seven, seven books to choose from. This month, it's five. And uh, yeah, so one of them stood out for me. And I'm so excited to get that book. But for what Book of the Month Club is, and I'll have a link in my description below if you're not already a member. It used to be $14.99. I think it went up a little bit to maybe $15 and change. Shipping is free. If you use my link, your first book should be $5. Um, I would get a free book for that so thank you everyone who's used my my link i sincerely truly appreciate that and the best part is too is that once you join book of the month club and you get uh that link you can share it with your facebook friends you can share it with your family your friends your co-workers if you've got a youtube channel and you do your your book reviews things like that you can share that below it's a great way to pass that savings on to someone and it's a great way to build your collection as well so anyway what we're going to do is talk about the books that i didn't get and then we'll go into the book that i did get Alrighty, so that first book is don't cry for me and it's by jojo moyes and it's a historical fiction so who are you when you are forced to walk in someone else's shoes nisha Cantor 
lives the globe-trotting life of the seriously wealthy until her husband announces a divorce and cuts her off. Nisha is determined to hang on to her glamorous life, but in the meantime, she must scramble to cope. She doesn't even have the shoes she was until a moment ago standing in. That's because Sam Kemp, in the blinkest, bleakest point of her life, has accidentally taken Nisha's gym bag. But Sam hardly has time to worry about a lost gym bag. She's struggling to keep her family and herself afloat. When she tries on Nisha's six-inch Kristen Louboutin red crocodile shoes, the resulting jolt of confidence makes her realize something must change. And that thing is herself. Alrighty, the next one, also a uh, historical fiction. This one, I think, is going to be a tearjerker. And so anyway, it's River Sing Me Home by Eleanor Shearer. And her search begins with an ending. The master of the Providence Plantation in Barbados gathers his slaves and announces the king has decreed an end to slavery. At the following day, the Emancipation Act of 1834 will come into effect. The cries of joy fall silent when he announces that they are no longer his slaves. They are now his apprentices. No one can leave. They must work for him for another six years. Freedom is just another name. What's that song? Freedom is just another name for the life they have always lived. So Rachel runs. Away from Providence, she begins a desperate search to find her children. The five who survived birth and were sold. Are any of them still alive? Rachel, she has to know. The grueling, dangerous journey takes her from Barbados, then by river, deep into the forest of British Guinea, and finally across the sea to Trinidad. She is driven on by the certainty that a mother cannot truly free, be truly free without knowing what has become of her children, even if the answer is more than she can bear. These are the stories of Mary Grace, Micah, Thomas Augustus, Cherry Lane, and Mercy. But above all, it's a story of Rachel and the extraordinary lengths to which a mother will go to find her children and her freedom. Alrighty, so the next one is a romance, and it's Georgie All Along by Kate Claiborne. Longtime personal assistant Georgie Mulcahy has made in a career out of putting others before herself. When an unexpected upheaval sends her away from her hectic job in Los Angeles and back to her hometown, Georgie must confront an uncomfortable uncom truth. Her own wants and needs have always been a disconcertingly, I don't know what that is, so I can't say it right, disconcertingly blank page. Alrighty, but then Georgie comes across a forgotten artifact, a friendrific diary she wrote as a teenager, filled with possibilities she once imagined. To an overwhelmed Georgie, the diary's simple, small-scale ideas are a lifeline, a guidebook for getting started on a new path. Georgie's plans hit a snag when she comes face to face with an unexpected roommate, Levi Fanning, one-time town troublemaker and current town hermit. But the quiet, grouchy man is more than just his reputation, and he offers to help Georgie with her quest. As the two make their way through her wish list, Georgie begins to realize that what she truly wants might not be in the pages of her diary after all, but right by her side, if they can only both find a way to let go of the past that hold them back. Alrighty, so the next one 
Um, it's a contemporary fiction, and it's called Mame by Jessica George. It's fair to say that Maddie's life in London is far from re rewarding. With a mother who spends most of her time in Ghana, yet still manages to be overbearing, Maddie is the primary caretaker for her father, who suffers from advanced stage Parkinson's. At work, her boss is a nightmare, and Maddie is tired of always being the only black person in every meeting. When her mom returns from her latest trip to Ghana, Maddie leaps at the chance to get out of the family home and finally start living. A self-acknowledged late bloomer, she's already ready to experience some important first. She finds a flat share and says yes to after-work drinks, pushes for more recognition in her career, and throws herself into the bewildering world of internet dating. But it's not long before a tragedy strikes, forcing Maddie to face the true nature of her unconventional family and the perils and rewards of putting her heart on the line. Alrighty, and this is the one that I picked. This one is a thriller. Could you guess that I would pick the thriller out of contemporary fictions and romances? I know. So this is called The Writing Retreat. And this, I believe, is a brand new author to Book of the Month. Her name is Julia Botts. And the quick take of this book is, pro tip, read the fine print before a writer's retreat, lest you end up stuck with a kooky horror writer and your ex-BFF. So anyway, this is supposed to be psychological and creepy. Sounds right up my alley. Alrighty, so it says, Alex has all but given up her dreams of becoming a published author when she receives a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Attend an exclusive month-long writing retreat at the estate of feminist horror writer Rosa Vallow. Even the knowledge that Wren, her former best friend and current rival, is attending doesn't dampen her excitement. But when the attendees arrive, Rosa drops a bombshell. They must all complete an entire novel from scratch during the next month. And the author of the best one will receive a life-changing seven-figure publishing deal. Determined to win this seemingly impossible contest, Alex buckles down and tries to ignore the strange happenings at the estate including Rose's erratic behavior, Wren's cruel mind games, and the alleged haunting of the mansion itself. But when one of the rider vanishes during a snowstorm, Alex realizes that something very sinister is afoot. With the clock running out, she's desperate to discover the truth and save herself. Alrighty, so that does sound exciting, doesn't it? So I should have held up the book, but I forgot. So this is what it looks like. The Writing Retreat, a novel by Julia Bartz. And every book of the month club, every time you get one, you're going to get one of these little free cardboard bookmarks. Be mine, me to every book. I like Be My Valentine, book of the month. So just a really fun little saying for your book of the month club so looking forward to reading this thriller hoping it keeps me on the edge of my seat so anyway i finished reading another book this month and uh, so anyway this was called the other birds by sarah edison allen and this was kind of like a they call it a fantasy realm or something like that so anyway it's these mythical birds that are just everywhere at this mellow island, this um, fancy kind of horseshell, horseshoe type um, 
apartment buildings. Some of them are bigger than others. There's a death in there. There's a girl that travels across country to live where her mother used to live in one of the apartments and she meets some really eccentric people. She meets some friends that they never, these people just never hung out as friends and she kind of brings them together and they're just the kind of stories, the backgrounds and things just kind of come alive and there's some ghosts in here that some one person can see and they're not mean ghosts, they just kind of hang on, they want to help him, help one of them with his uh, chef career and so he wakes up with like cornmeal all over the place every morning another one the it's a writer that wrote this book about mallow island and it just kind of brings all kinds of people to the island with tourists and it's kind of was like a slow build getting into it and you're just kind of reading waiting for something to happen and the next thing you know you're so interested in these people's lives and what's going to happen and whatever so i really did enjoy this book so anyway that was good and i'm reading another one this one is a horror and this is where i am right here so i'm moving right along in this this is called white horse so i'll probably talk more about this next month when i open my next book of the month club but this one i can see it becoming a movie it's it's really held my interest again it was kind of like a slow build to get into it and the next thing you know boom you're hooked so really excited to be reading these books and i'm so excited that you guys were able to take a few minutes of your day to spend with me thank you guys so much and i hope you had fun dressing up in mardi gras as much as i did and i look forward to seeing what happens next month i you know it's only saint patrick's day but I don't think I want to wear green all month, so we will have to just kind of go back to wearing some normal clothes. So anyway, I hope you guys all go out and have a great week or weekend, a great day, great morning, night, or evening, whenever you, you watch this. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have fun. I love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.